Cardiac output is one of many ways to measure how efficiently the heart can supply the body's tissues with oxygen and nutrients. It can be measured using various techniques, such as echocardiography and thermal dilution. Cardiac output is defined as the amount of blood that is pumped out of the heart per period of time. It is most commonly expressed in the units of liters per minute. Normal resting cardiac output is around 5 liters per minute, but it can increase during exercise or in response to stress. There are two factors that determine cardiac output, stroke volume and heart rate. Multiplying them together will give the cardiac output. We will normally see the equation written like this. Stroke volume is the amount of blood that is pumped out of the heart with each heartbeat. The units are liters per beat, but it is also sometimes just expressed in milliliters or liters. Stroke volume can be calculated by subtracting the end diastolic volume, which is the volume of blood in one ventricle at the end of diastole when the heart has been filled with blood, right before the heart contracts, by the end systolic volume, which is the volume of blood that remains inside of the heart after a contraction. Notice that the heart does not expel all the blood in the ventricles during contraction. A normal resting stroke volume is around 60 to 100 milliliters, but it can vary due to factors such as age, sex, and physical activity. During exercise, stroke volume will increase so that the heart can pump more blood to the body's tissues to deliver more oxygen. Other factors that determine stroke volume include the strength of the heart muscle and the resistance to blood flow in the arteries. Athletes tend to have stronger hearts that can pump more blood with each contraction, therefore their stroke volume tends to be larger. Conditions that increase resistance to blood flow, such as hypertension, will make it harder for the heart to eject blood, therefore higher blood resistance may cause a lower stroke volume. Heart rate, also called the pulse, is the number of times the heart beats per period of time. It is expressed as beats per minute or BPM. The normal resting heart rate for adults is typically between 60 and 100 beats per minute, but again, can vary depending on age, sex, fitness level, and other factors. The heart rate is controlled by the autonomic nervous system, which automatically responds to changes in the body's oxygen and carbon dioxide levels, blood pressure, and other factors. During exercise or in response to stress, the sympathetic nervous system can increase the heart rate to supply the body with more oxygen. During resting period, when the body doesn't need as much oxygen, the parasympathetic nervous system will lower the heart rate. Athletes tend to have lower resting heart rates because their heart muscles are stronger and capable of pumping more blood with each contraction, while still providing adequate circulation. The elderly and children will normally have higher resting heart rates because their heart muscles are weaker and cannot circulate the blood as efficiently. Therefore, their hearts need to beat faster to provide adequate circulation. From this equation, we can see that if stroke volume, heart rate, or both increase, then cardiac output will also increase. If stroke volume, heart rate, or both decrease, cardiac output will also decrease. Now, time for some questions to test your understanding. A healthy patient's echocardiogram reveals an end diastolic volume of 120 milliliters, and an end systolic volume of 50 milliliters. If the patient's heart rate is 90 beats per minute, what is the patient's cardiac output? Pause here if you need more time to think. To answer this question, we can use the following equation to calculate the patient's cardiac output. Cardiac output is equal to the stroke volume times the heart rate. 
First, we need to calculate the patient's stroke volume using the given end diastolic volume and end systolic volume. Stroke volume is equal to end diastolic volume minus end systolic volume. The end diastolic volume is 120 milliliters and the end systolic volume is 50 milliliters. So subtracting 120 by 50 gives a stroke volume of 70 milliliters. Now that we know the patient's stroke volume is 70 milliliters, we can calculate their cardiac output using the given heart rate. So stroke volume is 70 milliliters and heart rate is 90 beats per minute. Multiplying these two values together gives a cardiac output of 6,300 milliliters per minute or 6.3 liters per minute. And that's our answer. The patient's cardiac output is 6.3 liters per minute. Did you get the question right? Comment what you thought down below. If you want to learn more about this subject, check out this video. And if you want to learn the same thing but in French, check out this video. Be sure to like and subscribe for more videos like this. Thanks for watching. Bye!